everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick trick that I learned in LogSeq, which is how to create a block alias. So if you're not familiar with LogSeq, there's kind of like two different elements that you can reference. You can reference pages, which would be this, this up here. So this would be a LogSeq slash alias as a page that would be saved as a markdown file on disk. And then you also have blocks. So each of these bullets here is a block. So that's a block and this is a block. And these can be referenced if you right click on these bullets and copy a block reference. So the question that I had um, and was fortunate enough to have answered in the LogSeq Discord, check it out if, you, if you're interested, um, community Discord there. But what I wanted to know was how do I turn some kind of text into an alias that then references a block instead of referencing a page? Um, you can link to pages by going something like this, like I have a Golang page that I could reference and create a link there, and I can turn that into an alias if I wanted to change Golang to Go or something in the form of a sentence. But I want to know, how do I reference a block? How do I reference this right here? Because when I copy the block reference, I just get this name, and then whatever is in that block or that top level block is what becomes the note name. So if I change this to block note, that changes and I don't see I don't see anything underneath that block, anything under it. Um, and we'll just to confirm, I'll move out of that so you can see it only refers to the top, but I want block note to be something else. I want it to be block alias instead of block note. And so what I can do is I can create an alias and the syntax is below here. So I can create a block alias by putting the block alias in quotes like I would a hyperlink. And then um, this is how you do a hyperlink. So if I wanted to do www or maybe knowledge uh, worker dot blog, which is my newsletter, um, I would put that and that would become a hyperlink. But I want to link to uh, a block, not an external URL. And so what I can do is just take this block reference number here and put it inside those double quotes. So you have three parentheses parentheses, not double quotes, but that's actually how you create an alias to the block. So now what appears in my note is this block alias and not block note. And so if I hover over this, I'll actually get to see, get a peek into what that block is. Now that's how you create it and the syntax for it. Now, where does it become useful? So I've been, I just finished up reading a, a book called Go in Action to teach me some more Go stuff. Go is a programming language. And I wanted to, right here underneath interfaces, the second note that I have, that says the type of receiver used for a method determines if it accepts an input or value by pointer. Uh, and I wanted receiver because I have a note on what a receiver is, and that's um, useful knowledge. But I don't use every note that I take from the sources of information that I learn from, they're not individual pages inside of LogSeq. They're actually blocks. And so I wanted to create a block alien since the need to know how to do that. So that's what I did. If you look at here, I put in the square brackets receiver and then the triple parentheses, I put the block reference. So now when I go to this note and I'm looking for um, Golang interfaces and I stumble upon this and I don't quite remember what receiver is, I can either hover over it and get to the full um, block level. And when I hover over it, it actually gives me everything underneath the top level. So the block that I reference there is that first bullet that says a receiver is a parameter. That's the block I referenced. And so if I click on that too, it'll open up that precise bullet underneath all my notes. So you can see this was referenced just a couple bullets above um, in 5.2 instead of 5.4 of the, of the same book, which is go in action. Uh, and now I have this block reference. So that concludes this very short video on block aliases. Again, the syntax for that is the, basically you wanna create an external URL with the square brackets, and then you enclose the block reference ID inside of parentheses. So I hope you thought that was useful and informative. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.